if I could talk to administrators across the country about the Power to Change program, um, I would say that it's a program whereby we're empowering our students to uh, take responsibility for themselves and their actions. And uh, ultimately, that's our goal. We're educating them not only so that they're doing well in the reading and the writing and the arithmetic, but that they are um, self-sufficient students and we know they're going to be a, a great part of the broader community. Um, it's also a program whereby I am able to do more things in terms of instruction, not that I'm doing everything I need to do in terms of instruction, but I can take the disciplinarian hat off sometimes and make sure I'm out in the classrooms observing teachers doing what I have to do to support them so that the students are avid learners. Um, the, the disciplinarian office isn't flooded with so many people because we've empowered them to handle their own situations. Teachers find that they're able to run their classrooms more effectively and efficiently because these students have empowered themselves. And so now they're able to handle situations that may come their way in which they're not disrupting the classroom. Um, in a lot of cases, they become helps to the classroom in, in terms of hindrances. And some of them were hindrances in the beginning. Um, the parents, I get from the parents also, we always talk about the school and its culture. The parents are talking about the changes that they've seen. And it's not an overnight sensation, and um, we tell them in the beginning it's a process, and a lot of times it's slow and gradual. But they do talk about the changes they've seen, and not only are the children using these tools, they're sharing them with younger siblings. So that when you get yourself in a jam or you get yourself in this situation, you know, you may want to try this. You drop the judgment on this person. Or um, you sometimes humor is our best friend. So the tools that they are using in the sessions, they're using in the outer environment. And um, I would just like to see students, more students be empowered in this manner because unfortunately some of our parents are not able to get their children out to um, sites outside of the school where they're able to get the support um, in therapy sessions and counseling sessions and all that. And so I think they do feel that they are being empowered. At one point they used to call it the anger management group. And I say, we don't use that term. We are empowering ourselves and we call this what? Power to change.